take, I think, because you're the incumbent, the brunt on education. That seems to be the biggest issue in Idaho. Mm -hmm. Is that while you were there, well, and education it should be. got cut. Uh, education should be one of the larger issues in Idaho. Uh, but you always have to juxtapose that against what it costs in terms of what the taxpayer is going to have to pay in addition. And you can't just tax shift. I mean, if you go, as Mr. Allred is saying, you go to those tax exemptions, uh, the people are still going to have to pay those taxes because all of those taxes are either a, an exemption for the farmer, so uh, somebody's still going to have to pay those taxes. It can't be tax neutral, so taxes have to go up. And what we endeavored to do was to spend every dollar that we possibly could uh, from that general fund into education. So I believe that we fulfilled our constitutional requirement to, so, uh, to uh, support a thorough, free, uniform and system of common public schools. Do you think for the next 77 days you are going to be on the defense over and over and over again about well, cutting education? No, listen, uh, I don't know that I've been on the defense if I could get an editorial writer somewhere uh, to say exactly what happens if we had overspent our money in the state of Idaho. Uh, because I believe people understand that as I go out, as I go to Capitol for a day, as I go out around the state and campaigning, people understand how important education is, but they also understand the cost of education. And I think with the Idaho Education Network that Mr. Allred so affectionately talked about in there and the fact that we're getting that into 80, we've already got it into 87 schools, it's going to go into 80 schools from now on until we complete hook up every school in the state, I think that's going to do an awful lot to supply or to provide for a system of thorough uniform and free common public schools. I think in a lot of issues overall you guys generally agree, you, uh, yourself and uh, Mr. Yeah, Aldrin, I wonder but, why he didn't run as a Republican in the primary. But do you think that uh, it, it, the, the problem is how to carry it all out? How, is that, what's that? Well, of course it is. But how convenient that you can say, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask a thousand people in each legislative district uh, what their opinion is. And then I'm going to follow their opinions. Well, we already have that in the state legislature. Each one of those people represent about 42,000 people. And those people sent them here. And that's what representative uh, Republican form of government is all about. So we already have that. And I say again, so he's got 14 to 1,600 people in his clique uh, that are going to get to have their input with government. What about the 1,500,000 others in the state of Idaho that should also have an input? You get that from the legislature. Okay, I think we're ready to switch now. Mr. Okay. Otter's going to come in. We've got a couple of newspaper reporters, Mr. Otter, who would be happy like, to get a huge little... What's that? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, that's yours? Yeah.